Hey guys, it's Latham, and I'm here to guide you through a sleep meditation practice. Quality sleep is the foundation of a healthy mind, body, and spirit. And sleep helps us to boost immunity, improves our mood, and assists in recovery. Many people struggle with getting really good rest and feelings of stress or anxiety can prevent us from achieving quality sleep. Uh, meditation though can help us to relax. It can help to soothe our nervous systems, recharge us, and can get our bodies to relax and fall asleep as well as stay asleep. In order to optimize rest, make sure to maintain a regular sleep schedule in addition to your meditation practice. Minimize the blue light exposure that you get. Phone fast, so shut off all electronic devices so that you can get really good rest and start to snooze. And make sure that your bedroom is pretty dark, right? So you can use blackout curtains and that can help to just make your space more cozy and sleep ready. Also, you wanna avoid caffeine and beverages that might keep you awake and heavy meals. So before we begin our meditation practice, we wanna get cozy in our bed. I'm someone who loves a lot of pillows. So I have to move some pillows first so we can get very comfortable. And so once you get yourself set up in your bed, just before you get started, maybe doing some circles with your ankles, feeling the backs of your calves behind your knees, sit up nice and tall, inhale, bring your arms up and overhead, extend nice and long. Exhale, you can bow forward. Inhale, come back up. And then make your way onto your back and be comfortable. And so, this may feel really good for you. If you're someone who needs a little bit extra support, if you want your legs elevated or your head elevated a little bit, you can place some support underneath your knees, like so. With pillows, right? Um, I happen to have a function on my bed that allows me to adjust, and so I'm going to play around with that function. And let's go to here. I'm going to play with this function, so I'm going to go down to bed position, and I'm going to adjust the head. So a little bit elevating my head ever so slightly, right? Ever so slightly. And then take your legs and extend them so that they're just a little bit wider than hips distance. Then take your palms face up and just rest them alongside your body, but Really allow yourself to expand. And if you have a lot of space on your bed, if you even want to go wider, like a snow angel, you can do so, right? Or a sea star. I'm just going to be here and slowly start to relax. And as you breathe, begin to float your eyes closed and feel yourself melting into your bed. to begin your sleep meditation practice. Over the next couple of minutes together, we'll ground ourselves, anchor, and restore ourselves. 
through a practice of breath work, a practice of present intention, and reclaiming our rest. And while you're resting here, just allowing yourself to feel supported. Notice any sensations that you feel in your body. Notice how it feels to relax your spine, your head your legs against your bed and be held. When was the last time you were held? Allow yourself in this time to release, soften, open, and completely surrender to this moment. you're breathing, your parasympathetic nervous system, which governs the stress response in the body, is recalibrated. And just by the fact that you're resting. Just because you're providing yourself this oxygen, life force energy through breath, just slowing down. Present in your body. In your mind. In nurturing your spirit. What a gift it is to reclaim your rest. Nurture yourself. And align with optimal well being. Relaxing even deeper now. Allow yourself to feel swaddled with support, anchored, tethered, yet free. The beauty of a practice that allows us 
to rest is that it helps us to expand our capacity to receive, to receive care, love, support. It helps us to be in dialogue with what's happening in our bodies. The next couple of breaths, I invite you to tune yourself to what's happening in your body. Attune yourself to what's happening in your heart. Attune yourself to what's happening in your mind. And being free Responding to your needs, anticipating them. And taking moments to reflect on what care you actually need. And slowly begin to bring some movement back into your body. You can start to wiggle fingers and toes. Inhale and extend arms up and overhead, reaching into lace hands, press to the sky. <sighs> As arms come down, and press the feet into the bed as you draw your knees up towards the ceiling. And you can place your hands on your belly. And placing your hands over your belly. And just take a moment to set an intention for how you'll end this day. How you can be mindful and present to your needs. How you can honor your rest. And use sleep as a way to restore yourselves. And when it feels comfortable, you can slowly start to lean towards your side. Choose whether you want to lean towards your left or your right side. And take a second before you sit upright. And roll yourself up to sit. <sighs> and if it's time for you to go to sleep, this is a really perfect opportunity for you to do your nighttime rituals in preparation so that you can really go back to bed and stay asleep. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>Hey guys, what you sleep on matters. And the technology in my Sleep Number 360 smart bed really helps me to feel the difference in my sleep quality. Each month I get a wellness report from the Sleep IQ app. 
and this analyzes my sleep trends and also helps me to see the things that I'm doing throughout the day that actually impact my sleep. Things like a good workout or something like a nighttime meditation. So these are things that can help me to get more restful sleep, but also provides information about how I can do better.